we are now studying different types of forces which are present all around us. So, uh, one force is the force of tension. This we need to study. Tension is developed in strings. A string is made of many molecules and these molecules are like this. We can say like this and there is always a force of attraction between the two molecules and because of that force of attraction they are attached to each other. Now, if I put an object here and push it this way, then what will happen here? The last molecule, this I have bound with this object. If I push it in this direction, I am applying force here then this will like to move here then it will apply force on this because it will not allow it to go. Then this will pull it in this direction. If this wants to go there is a force of attraction with this. There is a bonding between the two and because of that bonding this will apply force on this molecule. It will apply on this, on this, on this and this will apply force on this object F. Now that means whatever force I apply here, the same force is being applied on this object because it is getting transferred from one to other to other to other to other. Now what is happening here is in this condition when there was no force, no force, then the force of this one molecule on the other attraction, this on this attraction. Okay. So, there was a force here, there was a force here and they have come to a particular distance where the force is minimum and they will remain at this place. Now, when we apply force here, then there is an additional force and this force is applied on this. This additional force which I apply here, this apply here, this apply here, this apply here, this force is distributed all through it. Whenever here if I observe the force, what do I see? This force is here this molecule is applying on this. There is a force between these two molecules. How much is this? This one. If I observe these two, there is this molecule applying force on this molecule. How much? This force. So, every molecule applying force on the other that is equal to this force. Therefore, this force I call as tension developed tension developed in the string. Where is the tension force? It is between every two molecules from this to this, this to this, this to this because every molecule is pulling the next molecule. So, that force between any two molecules is tension and tension in the complete string complete string why? Because if I ask what is the force between two molecules? Here it is F, here it is F, here it is F, everywhere it is F and here at this point it is also F. Here I am applying F and here the force is F. Now at every point the force between two molecule is F and I call it tension. So, how much is tension here? Answer F. How much is tension here? F. How much is tension here? F. But it is because it is in the string, because it is between the two molecules, 
we give it a separate name and that name is tension. We give it a symbol and that symbol is T. So, this is tension developed in the string and we call it T. So, tension is the force developed in a string whenever there is a net force applied on it. Okay. Is this tension always equal to this force? Answer no. This force can be used by two methods. We know there are two fates of this force we apply. One, it can compress an object, then there will be no motion, then it is balanced. Other, if it is unbalanced, then it will start moving it. So, if this force is not able to move it, then net force is 0 and that means the complete force is balanced. Balanced by what? An opposite force. So, what is that opposite force? Tension. So, here the tension is developed and that tension is equal to this force, equal to. But if this starts moving, that means some of the force is used for moving it. How much? m into a, mass into acceleration, that much force is used for moving it and rest of the force is developed as tension. So, if body is not moving, not moving, then tension is equal to F. Moving body tension is less than F. How much is the tension? Total force was F and a part of the force is used as mass into acceleration of this body mass into acceleration of this body and rest become rest become tension. So, this is tension. The more important thing is the direction of tension. The direction of tension at different points. If I have two points here, these two points here, this is pulling this in this direction. I say here the direction of tension at this point is this much, but this is pulling this in this direction. So, direction of tension here is at this point. Then here what is the direction of tension? So, the direction of tension is in both directions. If here is the tension 10 Newton, here is the tension 10 Newton, then what is the net force? answer net force is 0. If net force is 0, then how much is acceleration? Acceleration is 0 and the body is not moving. Yes, it is not moving. So, when body is not moving, we call this condition as equilibrium. So, in equilibrium, in equilibrium, What happens in equilibrium? There is a object uh, having mass m here and it is suspended by a string. This mass is experiencing a force downward that is mg and under this effect of mg, why it is not moving down? Answer it is not moving down because it has been balanced. The net force has become 0. Who has balanced it? So, see here who has balanced it. We say the tension developed in the string has balanced it because it was trying to pull apart the molecules. It was trying to pull apart the molecules like this and it refuses to get pulled. So, what happens? The moment it moves, this molecule will push it up again and there is a force between the two that is tension. Now, what is direction of that force? If this particle, if this object is trying to pull it down, then it is trying to pull it up. 
so the direction of tension at this point is up tension so this is the direction whenever we tie a string with something there is a force applicable on this object tension is always in the opposite direction always in the opposite direction now if this tension is here this tension is here then why the string is not moving up because of this force answer because here it is balanced by mg so this is also not unbalanced force this is also a balanced force okay now we come to this point at this point this is the last molecule and this is the point of suspension this molecule is pulling it down with how much force t but this is not coming down because we have tied it with this that means it is applying force on this rest this roof here it is applying force on this how much force it is applying answer the same force t because it is at rest that means it is pulling it downward and it is experiencing a force by this and that force is upward this roof is pulling it upward as a reaction it is pulling the roof downward by third law so simply if this is pulling it down then this is pulling the roof down with how much force tension so at this point pulling down means tension is in this direction now this string is one object at this end we have declared that tension is in this direction at this point we are declaring tension is in this direction so if i ask you overall in the spring what is the direction of the tension in a string which is in equilibrium what is direction of the tension answer the direction of the tension is in both directions at one end it is inward at the other end it is also inward that means tension always act inward because other forces are trying to pull the last molecule outward the tension always act inward here here so everywhere if we cut it when we cut it here the tension will be acting in this direction here the tension is acting in this direction if we keep them tied together then this tension will act on this in this direction and this string tension will act on this in this direction so you will find wherever we make the tension it is always in pair and in opposite direction here this is the string here the tension is in this direction here the tension is in this direction and what is the net force t and t zero so net force on the total string is zero but still it is developed it has developed two forces the two forces are tensions and one is acting at one end other is acting at the other end and what is the direction of tension the direction of tension is always inward now if this is a string and there is a uh, say strength pulling the rope on both sides there are so many boys pulling it in this direction and there are so many boys pulling it in this direction okay it is in equilibrium both the forces are equal to each other now if it is in equilibrium and both are pulling how much is the force between these two between the molecules because all molecules are trying to be separated this force is trying to separate them and they do not because one molecule is pulling 
the other molecule and we call this force as tension. So, whenever we apply external force, a tension is developed. So, whenever external force is applied, tension develops. What is the direction of tension at this point? The tension at this point, this second molecule is trying to pull it inward. So, here the direction of tension is this. At this is the last point, here the second molecule is trying to pull it in this direction. So, here the direction of tension is this. So, to this object, the tension is pulling it in here. To this object, tension is pulling it here. So, when this person says that this person is applying force on me, pulling me in this direction, I tell him this person is not in your contact, how he is applying the force? So, he says there is a string. So, this person has applied force F because of it a tension is developed here and here it is this tension of the string which is applying force on it. This is how we analyze it. Okay. So, this is how the tension is developed, where we have to mark the directions of the tension at the two ends and always it is inward that is in the opposite direction of wherever it is tied with an object. And then third and very important thing, in the condition of equilibrium, equilibrium means what? Equilibrium means the molecules of the string, whatever is the extension that has been done like this, this a small extension due to applied force. After that, it is staying here, we call this is equilibrium. If I apply tension force, there will be a slight extension and then it will stay there with that extension that is condition of equilibrium. Now, if the whole string is moving like this, even then it is called equilibrium because the distance between the molecule is not increasing. This distance is not increasing, this is fixed. Now, the complete string is moving like this, 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 this. For me, the length of the string is not changing, it is in equilibrium. I am talking about that equilibrium. Now, if this string is in equilibrium, then the force between these two molecules, between these two molecules, between these two molecules has to be same. So, this gives a very important result, tension at every point of string is same. This is very important conclusion and this will help us for application of force like this is roof, here <coughs> there is one pulley and there is a string around this pulley which is carrying certain weight. Here is another pulley, this pulley is carrying certain weight here. Okay. Then there is a third pulley over here, which is again attached with the roof and the string is here. Here we have certain weight say 20 kg. Here we have certain weight say 15 kg, here we have certain weight say 30 kg, 30 kg. Okay. Now, we can just think whether it is going down or it is going up that we will study when we are doing the numericals, but at this juncture there is one very important thing. How many strings are used? Answer only one string is used. If one string is used, that means there is a series of one set of molecules and in one set of molecules, if it is applying force on this 5 Newton, 
then definitely it is applying force on this as 5 newton it is applying force on this as 5 newton it is applying force on this 10 newton it is not possible that it will apply on this 15 newton if it is applying force on this as 10 newton it is not possible that it will apply on this only 5 newton what will happen to the rest 5 that will become an unbalanced force and it will keep on moving like this that is not possible all the forces are balanced that means tension at every point is same so here it is tension at every point of string is same and we can use a word here one so tension at every point of one string is same when the string change tension may change so here the tension at every point is same now come to the direction at this point the direction of tension is upward why because this force is applied downward if this force is trying to push it downward the tension will push it upward okay this pulley is hanging from the roof and this string and this weight it is trying to pull it down how by applying tension here here there are two tensions here which are trying to push down the pulley and pulley does not come down it develops its own tension in this thing here i will not write it because it is tension of this uh, suspension here the tension in the pulley tension in the pulley now here what will be the tension direction answer where is the force here is the force if this force is trying to go down then it is not allowing it to go down so it develops a tension here this develops a tension here now this pulley here is a weight here is a weight both are trying to go down it does not allow them and they transfer the force here how tension act in this direction tension act in this direction and here tension act in this direction so you have to learn how to mark the direction of tension and the thumb rule is at the point where string is bind with the load this is the load this is the load everywhere the direction of tension is opposite to the applied force or opposite to the load here is the load here is tension here it is both the strings are trying to push it down and by the reaction of the roof it is just having a force of suspension by the roof upward therefore the tension develops downward and here the length of the string is not changing so in our definition the string is in equilibrium and all the points of the string are having same amount of tension if suppose if this is coming down or this is coming this is going up suppose this is moving up these two are coming down then what will happen will the tension be different at different points answer no tension may decrease tension may increase but it will be distributed in the same amount at every point in that case if some of the net force of the system is used for motion rest of the force will make tension and that tension will be smaller than the net force but it will be distributed similarly how much is tension in such forces that we will study now when we are studying numericals of forces